JJ, J, J, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. All right, so today we're going to start with explaining what are all the files inside of this project, right? A lot of people send me messages. It's like, Joe, I'm a brand new developer. I'm overwhelmed with all the files that are inside of this project. So we're going to start from the top to bottom, okay? So this is Git. These files here are only for Git to know, just basically keep track of everything that's going on inside the repo all right now here are shards this is like package management right so it has a whole bunch of different libraries or different uh, projects that people have created and I'm basically using them as a dependencies right okay then we have the assets in the assets folder this is where you're going to make your components for react this is where you're going to put in your SAS. And of course, you're going to have this main file that's going to import all the other CSS that you might want to use. All right. Okay. So this is the library folder. This pretty much has all the information from Camel, uh, you know, database, MySQL. All of this stuff you guys don't have to worry about. It's just pretty much just extra libraries that is going to help you building you know cool projects all right now of course you got no modules these are all the small packages that you might be using with either Re react or with any other libraries that you might use later on that you might want to add to your own projects that's where the no modules is going to be at then you have public this is where you see there are like static files so let's say an example you have uh, JavaScript regular JavaScript this is where your JavaScript is going to be compiled to meaning here you have the one that's raw you know and think of it like that the one that's raw and then here is the one that people are going to see on your website so that's the simplest way to, to put it for you guys of course you're going to understand more about this as we go on with the tutorials and yeah so yeah so we are gonna have the JavaScripts here uh, images here CSS here and then we have the spec spec are pretty much just tests you know unit tests and tests that you could do with uh, crystal which is a pretty cool uh, feature that crystal lang has and yeah alright so it's just tests Think about it like this. After we build our app, we're going to do a little test where let's say if user is logged in, you know, it's supposed to be true, right? So if it's true, this thing is going to say, okay, it passed the test. That's simple. It's small little things like that. You know, I'm just saying it to you guys in a higher level so you guys can understand. And yeah, here we have the sources, right? So this is where all your back-end work is going to be at right so we're going to have Rocky here for now you guys don't have to worry about nothing about this here um, basically the views is where you're gonna have your views for your page so you got this the includes this the layouts this the pages then from there you have your routes so like routes are pretty much let's say you want to go to uh, google.com that's already a slash so that's like the the root folder of it so you know right here we have the rendering you know all of this stuff I'm gonna go more deep into it later on you know once we get to routes but yeah you know you got the Rocky folder this you don't have to form you know you don't have to worry about it right now uh, this the config here you're going to put in your database information this your errors whenever you want to say hey if I, the user gets a 404 error show them this like hey whatever whatever error you wanted to put like hey you're not supposed to be here whatever you want to put right all of this stuff you're gonna see it later on okay there's the app folder where your config is going to be your controllers is going to be your models is going to be all of these things is pretty much like I said later on you're going to learn that Okay, then from there we have Babel RC, which is just a settings file for Babel, just to transpile JavaScript. It's just a settings file. You don't have to worry about none of this stuff. 
The same thing as get ignore. That's if like let's say you want to ignore a file from your GitHub, then you put it in here. Okay? Then you have Travis. You don't have to worry about that right now. You have your GOAT file. Also, I'm going to go more deeper into this later on. You're going to be able to understand what's going on with the GOAT file, right? But here are the settings for the GOAT file, right? And then from here, we have a license, we have a README. You guys could delete that as, you know, for your own project. Uh, what else? We have this, which is just pretty much just showing you the libraries and stuff for Rocky. Um, what else? We have shards, the YAML. This is where you're going to put your dependencies for shards, stuff that you might need for Crystal Lang. All of the stuff you don't have to worry about right now. I'm just showing you guys about the folder structures and what files are in there. But everything, as soon as we get to that point, I will be you know, going back into it, into more in-depth tutorial about it. All right. Then we have Webpack. This is just basically a configuration. I built all this stuff for you guys, so you guys don't have to worry about this. Because, you know, learning Webpack, learning Gold, learning all of this stuff is still a project itself. So, you know, like, you have to learn that at one point. But you're still, you're like beginners, right? So you're just trying to code. Right now, you're not trying to learn another library, another, you know, stack. I'm just teaching you a way that... You can actually get up and running with creating websites as soon as possible. And then as you go, you will catch new things and learn new things that are going to be useful in every other stack. Okay. And then we have the yarn.lock. Also, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. And the packages. Whenever you want to add a package that is being used by NPM or yarn, you add it here. Or you could do it through the terminal by doing yarn add react or yarn add redux. All of the stuff I will go into the next tutorials. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. See your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And by the way, if you want to learn how to become a web developer, the courses are right there on my tutorial. People always keep asking me, Joe, how did you learn how to become a web developer? How did you get to the point where you're at now? Pretty much those are the courses. I'm not telling you go on Udemy, find a million courses. Basically, take the ones that I took. You know, it worked for me. It can work for you. All right. I'll see you guys later.